Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be shopping right here in Walmart.com. So, before we get started, on the top right hand side of your screen, you're going to see sign in. This is where you guys make your account. So, make an account, it's very important to do. So, if you're brand new into Walmart, just click on join now. So, we're going to click right there and you're going to see this page. Just fill in your first name, last name, phone number, which is optional, but I suggest doing so if you're going to order something online. Email putting a password, it's not your password for your email, it's the password you're creating to make this account. Then it's really your option to put a check mark here, you can if you want to, I don't suggest doing so. I just go ahead and do this because you have to. And from there, just putting create an account. If you guys already have an account, just sign into it. Once you've done that, you can go back into the homepage and just look for whatever you're looking for. So let's say I'm looking for a car seat, for example. I can just type it up there select whichever car seat makes sense to me. So let's say I like this car seat and I can just add that to my cart. So down here below, I'm gonna see add to cart. Just click add to cart. Once you click on add to cart, you might see a page like this. So we can continue shopping or just check out. So to make this video faster, let's just go into checkout. And right here, we're gonna see all the information. So just make sure everything makes sense. Uh, usually shipping with Walmart for a lot of products you're gonna see that the shipping is actually free so, so just make sure to see that also here's your taxes and that's your total you guys can just go ahead and proceed to checkout so we're gonna just click on proceed to checkout so at this point if you guys created an account which is what you should have done you guys can go ahead and sign into it unless you're already signed in so here's my second option to sign in. I do not suggest going out and just check out as guest. I don't suggest doing that because if you guys have an account, you guys can keep everything in there. So let's say if you guys want to make a return or anything like that, it's going to make it easier. And you can also look at your history of what you purchased. So that's very, very important to just make that account. So in this case, what I did, I actually changed my mind and chose this other seat. So I just went back and I'm going to proceed to check out again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, proceed to checkout. At this point, just make sure your address is fine, everything's okay, scroll down just a little bit, and then put your card details. So go ahead and put your credit card. Once you've done that, on the bottom right-hand side, you will see apply, just click on apply. And at this point, you're pretty much done with all the details. On the top right-hand side, you're gonna see place order, just click on place order. And that's how easy it is to place an order right here in Walmart. So you should get this shipped in, you will get an email from Walmart as well. Now, depending on what you guys order, it should take only a few days or it can be even really immediate next day delivery. It all depends what you buy. Even though you're supposed to get an email right now, I highly suggest taking a screenshot of this. That way you guys have your order confirmation number, which is on the top left-hand side of your screen at the moment. However, that would be it for this video. We are all done. That's you guys can shop for anything right here on walmart.com. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.